What's up guys? Just again catching up on videos on the flip side of the positivity of the Panthers and the light at the end of the tunnel. The Hornets are probably the polar opposite. The last two games against the Magic and tonight against the Wizards, more of the same, really good start. Um, some really good runs, and then we give up CBS receipt runs, and tonight we just looked lethargic, uninterested, especially in the second half, third quarter, where we only scored 15 points. Um, the unicorn, Christoph Porzingis, ate our lunch. Um, I think we dodged a bullet with Mason Plumley, Hand sprain, he ended up coming back into the game, but I'm really not sure why um, if we're really serious about doing anything at the deadline, and right now I have very little confidence that that's going to happen because, because the Hornets hornet, the Hornets hornet in the grossest way ever, but it, there was no reason that Mason Plumley needed to be in that game, um, after the injury in the third quarter, but it is what it is. Um, and if we don't do anything tomorrow, that's kind of a disgrace for fans, young players, Mark Williams, Nick Richards, those guys, uh, even Bryce McGowan. Like, you, it feels like you were being unserious. And Mitch Kupchak and Steve Clifford believing that we would be in championship contention without the injuries? Yeah, maybe, but there's still a big piece through that we can't control and that was the Miles Bridges situation another situation you can't control but the only time we're winning a championship this season is maybe in 2k 23 and sometimes you gotta look yourself in the mirror and realize that Bill Parcell saying your your record your record is what it is I mean Lord we lead the league in ankle sprains and blowing double digit leads in the fourth quarter in overtime. And, and uh, yeah, it's been unlucky, but sometimes you've got to take advantage of unfortunate situations and tear it down to the studs and get what you can get. Um, because we're going nowhere fast and doing nothing at the trade line. Trade deadline is gonna be absolutely an unacceptable, um, and that's just the reality. And Terry Rozier, Kelly Oubre, Mason Plumley, those guys really need to be in deep consideration of trades. I know it takes two to tango, but come on, you gotta realize that this season is going nowhere, and. Sometimes you got to set up for the future whether you want to or not. Um, and the the last two games, LaMelo had an amazing game, an amazing third quarter against Orlando, but uh, it meant very little. And, and I, I just, some, you got, I almost find, have respect for the teams that say, "All right, this is going nowhere. We're gonna tear it down, even if it, even if it hurts to lose certain guys." Um, that's how championships can be built. Look at the Jazz; they have 15 first-round picks in the next several handful of years, um, and they're not even playing that bad this year. Uh, they're outplaying expectations and I as a Hornets fan if we don't do anything <laughs> it, it, God really I mean seriously it, it, it's gonna be hard to continue to be a Hornets fan I will but come on we're going nowhere fast and somebody needs to realize that in the next in the next uh, whatever hours it is, 24, whatever. But as always, Bus City, off like a Hornets. We'll see what happens tomorrow. If 